What's up guys, it's me Catman, here to showcase my Shadow Man map as promised. This is technically a full playable game demo, not uploaded to anywhere mind you. It's still in the works, it's still just trying to find a good place to submit it. It's also not entirely finished as I only have day and night side of the church. But there's so much more to it, I, I promise I will be adding a lot more. I hope you don't mind the disconnect I had to chop up my videos, I probably mentioned it in my other videos, in order to give each project its own spotlight. So I'm doing this quick little intro to let you know what's coming up next. So thank you for your time and uh, I hope you enjoy the artwork. Welcome back. I have my Shadow Man map here. And if you can hear in the background, this is 100% music made by my fiance to uh, help uh, Add more Shadow Man zhuzh. It's a... We took uh, the relative notes on how Shadow Man sounds and then just added our own like effects and pedals and stuff. We even added a little bit of reverberated mustache. <laughs> oh, I love this track. It goes on for quite a bit. It's nice though. So yes, you would start off here. Welcome to Dayside. Um, okay, okay, so there's so much to see. You'd start off here, and, uh, okay, so basically, all, all this place was was a very well, well, like, you know, rendered place. Like, I don't know, like, uh, I like the different, um, layers that it went through, and I thought I'd just go through and, like, flesh out this world, and instead of just making it, like, a box, I just... I thought it'd be really cool to add emphasis on, like, you know, really making, like, roundy shapes, you know? For, for a square world, this is, this is pretty goddamn good for, for how well I'm getting nail in all these, uh, different chiseled areas. So, um, when you first arrive, you would come across a pit that you would have to jump across. It's super, super easy stuff. Ooh. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit, I'll bet you you can't hear me. that softly playing in the background all right so yeah and uh, you come down here like it'll it's a recreation like as soon as you if you were to put shadow man the game over <laughs> if you were to uh, put the shadow man game over on one screen and do like a, a comparison you would literally see this you would literally see how it all came together like y you enter here and you get like these kind of kind of textures and to your right, you would see a, uh, this is a, what they call a Dark Soul, um, but it's inside a, a, what they call a Govi, which is like a weird pulsating beating heart thingy, but you shoot it with the shadow gun, once you shoot it with the shadow gun, it, uh, it, viscera and chunks everywhere, and like this weird flaily Cthulian, like, purple tentacles coming out of it with like a weird cloud, and in the center of it, it in the center... Okay, what it's supposed to be, I believe, is supposed to be, like, a, a worm, I think? I think it's, like, a, a weird worm, but, like, it's spinning around in circles. But because of uh, N64 graphics, it kind of looks like a purple donut with somebody taking a bite out of it. So it just looks like a, a donut, that a flaily donut. <laughs> I don't know. And, like, when you collect it, I don't understand why it floats right underneath your crotch. <laughs> I just... Just saying, it's a bit weird. So I always called it the flaily dick donut of doom. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just not making fun of the game there. I love that game. It's so nostalgic. It's absolutely. I love that game. I wish they would do do a remake of this game, but with the graphics of today. Don't add any extra story. Don't just, you know, say you did a high-res version. No, no, no. You barely did anything, guys. Like, why are all the textures the same? I want more textures. I want more. Just grab every co core concept of this game. Just make it better. Just make the same game, but better. Please. <laughs> but uh, there are just some moments that I thought was kind of funny. You know, like the flaily dick donut to do. So you would have to shoot that in nighttime. But, uh, you know, down here is, uh, you know, it's just... Uh, the area that uh, one would have to explore. And also if you fell off the bridge, 
this area is all connected. Like, if you get up to here, this was like a, a jumping test. You actually had to jump at the, the peak of this in order to make it, because you can fall. Um, I'm not... Okay, so I'm medic when I sign in, but if I actually sign in as Shadow Man, all of the mechanisms that make this map work will go off only for Shadow Man. So making it free for me to, you know freely move around and, and mess with the things without having NPC spawn everywhere and have all the things go off all at once and I'll be like, ah, no, please don't go off. You know, like, if you sign in as Shadow Man, this bridge right here will collapse on you. Like, as you're walking right about here, the bridge will just <laughs> give way and make you drop down and have to come all the way around and then jump over. That was how the game did it in the, in the, in the beforehand. Like, you know, this bridge would collapse if you tried to walk across it in the actual N64 version. So I would always do make be sure to do a jump. And I do have it set up in a way where when it breaks, I will show you what happens when it breaks. Because here is uh here are some of the mechanics for it. Yeah, just like that. That's all it takes. Just this pushes that into that. And it's sticky. Oh no, it's not. It just pushes it in. Because it makes it locks it in place. Locks it down. So if it goes off, your bridge would break. And yes, you would still be able to jump over it, but it's just the fact that it's supposed to be that jump score where we're like, oh, shit. Oh, the bridge broke. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, exactly. That's uh, that's pretty much what that what that was. The, that's what the game made you do. So I just did a recreation of it. So there's the bridge. And all this place, all these places are connected. I did it so cleverly. There was like a little little lake of water you had to kind of walk past. Okay, now this is a very shady, shanty-looking boat. Because even on their side, their graphics, the way the polygons kind of shape out, it was supposed to be a boat on its side. And, well, it's, it's very hard to recreate a boat on its side in a square, very rule-heavy world. So, I did the best I could. It was this tiny, like, little water area that, you, that, that there was a boat on its side. And, uh, you know, there was, like, these things that you had to climb up. But behind the boat, you had to get down into the water and you had to get behind the boat in order to access. There was a spot that you jump into the boat and suddenly you were down underground into this place. And you can collect things. In fact, I... I put stuff in here. These are all very specific things to collect. You you can actually collect these as well. Um, very very interesting. Uh, this is super detailed. Like all the crystals that are laid out are individually protection free zones. So I did like a uh, world edit with like one 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 two uh, position and like that is an open space. So you can actually uh, put and take away anything you want in that spot. But the whole point is for the player to not be able to break anything around the world, but br break the things he's meant to break. Like a video game would, right? Like, I'm just trying to put in those actual, you know, you know, moments in between the... It just gives that level, level of detail and in-depth of, like, you know, just really enjoying yourself. I don't know, it's just fucking it's a video game. It's supposed to be all video game like. I'm using Mind Test as a video game engine to make a video game. <laughs> but uh okay. So yeah, you drop down from the boat into here. And you would be greeted by one of these. You you know, you can't shoot them on this side. You can't deal anything with them on this side because day side um on sh on Shadow Man, uh you had a regular pistol. You weren't a lot uh, able to shoot a regular pistol at um, a dark soul and it would open for you. It wouldn't because you have to be Shadow Man using your shadow gun. Logic, of course. Shadow Man logic. Um, but you would be, you know, dropped down from here. You wouldn't be able to go come back up. There is a way through here. I will get there in a second, but you know, if you drop down, it, this is what that area looks like in the game. Like, for realsies. Like, you know, uh, right down to the, you know, uh, there was a dip in the path. You had to jump up one, jump up again, and then jump up into here if you wanted to go anywhere. But you weren't able to jump up here. 
and you weren't able to shoot the Dark Soul up there either. So, but this was also a Segway passageway. I know it's a little, it's a little rocky, but that's that's how the path looks. And like, I did the best I could to, uh, you know, simulate all the different textures as it was going up. You know, like, even though there was a couple of repeat textures, I did try to capture the magic as much as possible. And here is one of my uh, more interesting compact areas. So this spot is very special because you would collect the crystal even if their crystal was there. This is a uh, exit on uh, enter and a return. You know, like as soon as you, you can't go back up there, man. Like you have to go physically all of the way around in order to get back up here. You can go through here and get down legitimately, but there's no legitimate way to get back up. So, and that's how they designed it in the game as well. So I just followed their their guidelines. I was like, all right, so if that's an end, exit no return, then I will make it as such. So you'd go through the jumping thing all over again and come up here and then you'd be greeted back here. So yeah, now let's uh, move on from there. I don't wanna explore that other path just yet. I wanna show you up here first. So in through here. You know, it was just a it was just a walk around a cabin. And then there wasn't really much in here. You can collect some stuff, but like, you know, it was just basically, you know, the entrance of the game. And if you looked at the uh, scenery, this is how it all looked. Like it all had like really high walls and like grass on top and stuff. It was supposed to seem like a bayou. Um like it says, uh, like if you check at the bottom uh, left-hand corner, Dayside Bayou Paradise, Louisiana, that's what, uh, that is exactly the title of what the um, game had made it. Hold on, I will show you in a second. Check this out. Yeah. So. Hold on. Yeah, I will do it that way. Uh. So yeah, when you come around this corner, you're the uh, this texture comes down into a point and then uh, forms into this house, like because it's like around the house, and it shows you um, a dark soul and uh, a crystal that you can collect, but you you clearly know as a player that you should be able to collect that. Hey, a saw, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, you should be, like, you know, you, you as the player know that you should be able to collect this crystal. and uh, But you can't, obviously, from here because there's this uh, cage in the way. So you know that that's a thing to come back to. So when, as the player, you're like, all right, well, I can't do anything much about that. So you're like, all right, so what's what's this place all about? You're like, how do I, how do I get up? You obviously can't get up from here. Um, you're not supposed to be able to. But... Um, that's how it looks, because it's supposed to encourage you to use this uh, line. Because, okay, in Shadow Man, you're supposed to hand over hand on the rope. But it's hard to recreate that in Mind Test. Um, so what I did the best I could, and to make sure that you can't see past any edge of game zone, at least not what you're, at least to what you're not supposed to see. So you're supposed to, you know, supposed to come up here and get on top of the uh, of this wire here. You you can jump all you want, but you can't really see much. I try to make real sure that you can't uh, jump up anywhere. These are heavy in placed edge of game zones. But the whole point is to come drop down onto this ledge because from there you can't jump up from here. You have to go up and over and walk over here. And then, yeah, once you walk into into this cave, um, these are, it's the same thing. If you look down the, the hallway, you have to jump one, once, you have to jump twice, and then to your right, jump one more time, and then there was this mound, mound of dirt. The way they, they designed this particular jump was that from here, you're not supposed to be able to just jump up, you know? Uh, the whole point to this puzzle was that you have to uh, be standing here um, in order to jump up onto the ledge. 
Hold on. Gotta, gotta give it a couple tries. Ah. Ah. It wouldn't be... A, there it is. Naturally did it. It wouldn't be a game if it wasn't, you know, at least a little challenging. The whole point is to try and, you know, throw your body at all the puzzles. <laughs> um, so yeah, when you're... When you enter... You're greeted with uh, the church, the church, Nettie's church that you go into to, you know, cross over to Nightside for the first time. But we all know, not all of us enter the church right away. So let's uh, let's explore, shall we? Um, here is the uh, is the puzzle for the calabash. It's a particular puzzle. Um, it's like a jar that's. Uh, an explosive, in essence. So it's like, you, you place it, and then you run, and then fire, and then the, the the lid opens. I actually have a mechanism for that. Everything works. Everything works, right down to the T. But uh, before we get into that, um, I'm going to show you. Uh, this was another, uh, another puzzle. Um, there was a particular stab thing. Uh, I was like a... This was supposed to represent... Oh, what was the name for it? Oh, I have a, I have a testing room. I have a testing room that shows you how every door works. And we are gonna show... I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get you there. I'm gonna get you there and you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. I put so much thought and effort behind every single door. Like, these are unconventional doors. You won't see... It, it's nothing like Star Fox. I have learned. I have learned. And in here... Um, all the mechanisms are actually made through, uh, through out of sight, out of mind. Like, you'll never see the mechanism behind it. You won't see a gate controller. You'll never see that. You'll only see, like, buttons that you obviously should, should press. You know? So, you walk past here, mausoleums. You know, you get your, your boxes, your, you know, the crates that you would have stuff to collect and stuff. And, uh, ooh, I think that one already went off. Gotta fix that one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So here's here's an example of uh, of how I, I I made one of these puzzles. I'm going to try and undo all the things. That reveals that. There. I have a one of these mods on, so you can actually shoot at stuff. The whole point is, uh, you had to shoot a lock in order to open the door. So the whole point was to shoot the lock, but open the door. Oh, crap. Hold on. Oh, right. Because I got to do Okay, you gotta remember it. You gotta set everything up, otherwise it don't work. Okay, so this is... This is the mechanism. Alright, okay. So you're supposed to have the gun, aim, shoot, and the door would open. Ha! That is how you make games, man. That is how you make a faithful recreation. Okay. mod can be a little buggy sometimes. Okay. There you go. Everything's all reset. Perfect. Isn't that a fine how would you do? So that's what that place looks like. Um, I will get into there because you're actually supposed to be able to go in there and investigate so much more of the map. But we haven't uh, fully explored this area yet. Let's, uh, let's actually go in and check out uh, the, the church. So when you enter in, everything is relatively super orange. And, uh, you know, right down to the beams, the, the chandelier, the the weird shapes. Like, okay, these were supposed to be, um, oops. These are supposed to be coffin shaped. But it's really hard to simulate a coffin, you know, in 
game. I don't know, like, so I just, it had weird shaped windows, so I made weird shaped windows that relatively looked similar. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, here's the church. Uh, yeah, this is a, a place that I'm allowing people to put down, you know, like, here is a place that you can put down items, especially a teleporter. Because I'm giving you the ability to place down checkpoints. Like, uh, like when you had, um, Luke's bear. It was a, a teleporter bear. It took you to places. Weird. You're like, ugh, the bear is teleporting me now. And you get there and, yeah, so the teleporter pads are going to simulate the Luke's bear. And when you walk in, when you walk in, there's two Dark Souls immediately, but you're in Dayside, so you can't do anything any about it anyways. Um, but it, it does come with a shop hidden away because you are supposed to, throughout the map, collect these three things in order to unlock a door that'll take you to Dead Side. Um, technically, yes, Live Side and Dead Side are connected, but you have to be ways into the game in order to, to get Dead Side. You need to have the... That's why I have the three keys here, you know? You're supposed to have Le Lan, Le Lune, Le Clips, you know, the fucking... The, or Le Sole, and then uh, to make Le Clips, you know what I mean? It was like this ceremonial dagger that had to be, like, stabbed through Shadow Man in Dayside so that he could have the Mask of Shadows at night, and... And then he... Then you're able to collect the Dark Souls that are around there. But, uh, you know, I figured... Since, you know, both Dayside and Nightside are the same fucking map, I figured, you know, I just put conglomerate all in one so that, you know, you work on one thing so that you can move on and work on a different thing in a separate area once you're done the tutorial and all the jazz. You know, basically, I will have Dayside connect to the next level, which would be after this, would you, you would have to go to Deadside. But, uh, you know, just for, just for demo's sake, I would only have, uh, I would only have, you know... The both sides, just to show off both, you know, so that you could technically go around and do all the fun stuff, but you can't, uh, can't, you can't play the full game just yet, because obviously I didn't just make the whole game in one night, but this took me a long time, enough as is. Uh, here's a couple of shops. You can always get apples, you know, you can always get apples, no dying, and, uh, you're, I give you this, uh, for free, so that, you know, you get, like, the letter, tutorial stuff. This is all tutorial stuff that I've written. Teleporter pads, you know, for, uh, you know, for, uh, what's it? Yeah, it, like Luke's Berry, so you can always, always refill. And if you die, you can always just come back to this spot, refill, and there are checkpoints later on everywhere. So, like, next because you saw in the top left-hand corner, oh, you will spawn here next time you die. So, yes, there are checkpoints in places. Um... This was a, an interesting puzzle. It's already been activated. I'm going to reset it now. You got to remove that. And then... Yeah. And then place that back. Okay, so this was a very, very simple puzzle. And, it, and it's a quick, easy deception of the eye, too. So... Um, the whole point to this puzzle was that Shadow Man was to push himself up against this, uh, this box so that it would push back so that you can reach behind and get the, what they called Kado. Um, they're like these, these, uh, like red, red things. I mean, like, I can't get into detail or lore about it. I mean, like, they called it Kado and I just don't want to... I don't want to get too deep into the lore on that one, but uh, they were red, and they were a collectible red thing. So I replaced it because I don't have Kedo mod. I have a crystal mod. So I'm going to use red crystals in place of, you know, Kedo. So the whole puzzle behind this was you, uh, you activate the thing. You Basically, you perform an action, you push the, the block back, and now you are granted access. You know, it's super easy, super simple, and the whole point is I wanted the mechanism to be only buttons that, you know, seem legit. Like, oh, that seems like a thing I should push. Alright. So, yeah. That's there. And everything is, is protected, and so, like, even... 
if you shoot, you can accidentally shoot shit away, but it's not important to the sto uh, it's not important to um, the game really. But if you if you want to you know accidentally shoot away all your flavor textures, go ahead. You got a blander game for it. That's all. But you know there are some people who are like, I like to break all the things. So there are things that you can technically shoot away and and have fun with. You know, like if you wanted to, you could shoot the bed away. But you know, why? Why? <laughs> um, you know, I don't know. It's not pertinent to the to the game, but it is to the story, I guess. I don't know. But the world will be all the lesser for it. But, uh, you know, I, I put it there in the first place to be like, aha, see, I did it. <laughs> it's there. <laughs> and it's a one-to-one -one recreation. So let's, uh, let's go past this door again into the thing. Because yeah. I don't want to mess with the mechanism right now. Um, so, yeah, once you enter, um, you'd be greeted with this. You know, you can come down here. And there were, like, these, you know sticks and logs and like you know placed in a way in a in a strange pattern and it was all like danger look out but you were actually supposed to fall and drop down and when you fall and drop down you were greeted by this place i like this place all chiseled out like i said if i could make slabs work underwater i would have everything just as chiseled out up here as it as it is down here but this is the best i can do because mine test hasn't come far enough in the in the slab department. I really, really wish one day that can happen, but my golly, I gotta make you. And this is me making do. So, uh, yeah, so when you drop down, you know, you're dropped down into a pool of water so that you, you don't hurt yourself or anything. You don't get fall damage. Um, but then you had to walk through some water, it may, it, it, you know, and then get up on onto these platforms. And there were two ways you can go but first we're gonna take the right path because the left path is the obvious way you have to go but uh i'm we're gonna we're gonna take a little bit of a detour also i picked a brown or like yellow muddy water because like it was like in the game they made the the water look very yellow and i thought that was very weird but that's their thinking they're like all right cool we're just this is swampy bayou water the other water looks more transparent, more more like water, and like in in day uh, in nighttime. Um, but here, I don't know. They went with what yellow, so I went with yellow. Um, so yeah, yeah, you're you're greeted to this place. You know, there there's a, a shack to the left, um, but and a shack to the right. There was like this one dead tree left in this place. Uh, there were technically alligator. Uh, I don't have alligator NPCs or anything, but. There, there were alligators here in their game. Uh, below, you had to collect a... a th I'm making you collect a thing, but there was a thing to shoot. You can only collect, like, two things. Keto and, like, these little skull things. Um, they were, like, fuel for your for your weapons. But here's a, here's a Dark Soul. That's where they, they put one. And, of course, because this is Nightside, you can't, you can't do anything about it. <laughs> Um, but at least it gives you an idea. You're like, aha, that's where it is. And I don't, cause I won't give you, um, the option to like, like you actually, there is a whole, whole, uh, thing to do with it too. Like right now, if I shoot it, it does nothing, you know, and it's supposed to do nothing. But when you play as uh, a shadow man and you go on nighttime, and you go up to a dark soul when you shoot it it actually triggers a whole process um the whole point is that when you shoot it it's supposed to like you know explode and then aha there's your crystal that you can collect an actual collectible dark soul crystal so yeah i was i try to get right into details with stuff you know more collectible stuff you know when you were greeted to this area. This was a, a tricky area, because when you came into here, there were technically alligators here, but um, later on, I will have NPCs, like, in night side. Day side, there are no NPCs. In fact, all the NPCs are friendly dogs. Um, unless you, unless provoked. If you, sh uh, if you shoot at one of the dogs, they will all start converging on you, so don't shoot the dogs. 
Not in day side, at least. Night side, they tear you to shreds. You run. You either run or you get the drop on them because they they chew they chew through your health so fast. You have like this health bar, and it's all like and it goes down so fast. You're like, oh god, they 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 just ah, they, stress inducing. That's what they are. But uh, here is uh, day sides. You know, how'd you do? And when you are greeted upon here, yeah, there was like a weird up. You know, a little dip upwards in the in the map. So, like, when you actually play the game, you'll be greeted into this area, and you'll actually see this weird dip in the map yourself, like in game. So, anything you see here is a one to one recreation of the game. I promise you, right down to the colors of materials that they they use. I, as faithful as I can get it. As faithful as I can get it. Okay, so here, uh, you're not supposed to be able to get up here, and I make sure that you can't. Um, you can't just jump up here, but you know. You know that there is clearly a way to get there. You know that there's clearly some how that you can get up there. And we'll get to that. We'll get to that in a second. But let me blow your mind for a second by coming down this particular caveway. You know? Do you remember? Do you remember this place? Everything's connected. <laughs> Yes, everything is actually connected. You can actually go back to the start of the game from here. Like, that's the that's the whole point. That's why I wanted to take you uh, down this path first, so that uh, it would show you just how far, you know? So, if you came back all the way through here, and I make sure that things were lit in certain places so that you knew that, like, oh, okay, that's just how things look. I should just, you know, explore like that. And you won't run out of breath, I promise you. The You can't actually drown in any of this water. Yeah, I, I made it, like, impossible for you to drown in this water. I actually... Ah, I did mess with some of the coding in some of the mods. Yeah, like, obviously the no drowning thing is, is one of them. Um... I actually have mods that represent uh, the mods. They, they they call them gads in uh, in Shadow Man game, where you would get these you know level up fire level ups basically, where you can you can walk on lava, you can you can push things that are on fire, and you can swim in the lake of fire. You know those were the the three fire level ups. And you know what's fun? I actually have a mod that tackles every single level as you progress so when i go to make this game for reals like i actually have this in the works i have all these ideas in the, in the, in the making like i'm gonna make this a fully working game that people can actually just play you know and everything's gonna everything's gonna come together and the way all these puzzles are smoothly coming along mm. and you remember yeah so if you take the other way now you now we're back here and you're oh yeah i remember this place and uh how you get there is by Carefully walking on that ledge. This was another over over the, you know, another thing. But I can't simulate that, so I gotta make it you be on top of it. So yeah, made it so that you're able to go there and back again by Cat Man Jensen. Um, so when you're greeted, you're you're greeted by these buildings. Uh, there was like a a crack in one building, like. This is technically, its door is right there, but this part of the building is, is broken, and you are able to, to enter it, revealing a dark soul. But in here, you know, I give you the evil stick. But yeah, this is just for the demo sake, you know, the, the evil stick is not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be somewhere where the fuck out in the middle of the map, because it's a, you know, that's a, a key item, like part of the la lune, la lune, la sole, you know, to make l'eclipse, you know, the whole thing. But uh, it's just the best I can do given uh, the situation I have. So, but you entered the bro broken building and all that jazz. This one was fine, you know. Grab some stuff. Things. Things that are left here. Um, again, with my edge of game zone, you know, I want to make sure that you can't just, you know, jump up and, you know, off and out. Like, you know, that's as, that's as much edge of game zone as I'm willing to let you see. You know, and try to keep that that cinematic magic happening, you know? Jump down. Yeah. So, I'm going to show you messing with the said dressing. This is what this entire level looks like from the top down. Yeah. And 
interesting, right? Like we got this little, that's where you started. This is where you go. There's that, there's the everything about this place. Yeah, I wanna see even more set dressing. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that underground spot. That is just, just all very craftily, very well put together, you know what I mean? Like, I put all the effort into making this place shine. Like, this here is, uh, is the mechanism that only activates when Shadow Man is around, but uh, I can make it happen. Um, all it does is play the music. So when you load in the game, you should be given enough time, you know, to listen to this song throughout the gameplay in order for you to go around and collect all the things and all the stuff. And, uh, you know, the music stops playing after, you know, a s after a certain while, but, you know, this is all 100% made for me. I love my husband. Thank you so much for making this music. Thank you for your reverberated mustache. <laughs> And, uh, so yes, this is Nightside. So let's see if I can take you now. I wanna, this is my tutorial area. Yeah, it looks a little crazy. There's big old Misi crystal box in the sky. But here's all the mechanisms. I hope they have not been activated. Oh, no, they have been. All right. Well, I make sure that, uh, you know, everybody, you know, here's a checkpoint, there's your portal. If you hear this, this is another original track made by my husband. He was working on this on his guitar and he thought to himself, like, what be a... What would be a good kind of like, mm, tss, tss, a good kind of tutorial music area, you know? And I was like, yeah, I like this. So this goes on to play for, like, as soon as you enter this area, this music plays. I have it set up in such a way where, like, music will play in cue areas. Um, I have to reset all of these, and that sucks. Um... This is a, uh, uh, what I like to call an emancipation grill. This is set up for if Shadow Man were to walk past this, all the items that he's acquired from this particular area. <laughs> mustache. Um, and, uh, if, if Shadow Man co collects any items from here, anytime he passes through here, his inventory will clear. Because it's a tutorial area. It's supposed to show you how all these doors work. Um... So, for me to show you how these doors work, I have to reset all of this. And, oh boy, do I remember the step-by-step. -step. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay. Is that the one? That's not the one. I know that I have to get rid of that one. Ah! Breaking stuff. Okay. Okay. That's supposed to be there. So, fire first. Fire first. And then the Govi. And then everything is turned off. So is it? Is it? Is it? Is it turned off? No, it's not, because uh, I still have to go inside here. Okay, I sure hope that fucking works. Okay, place that there, place the
the moving stone there. Okay, that should be a loaded pistol. Because when you shoot... Okay, how this is supposed to work is if you shoot down at the Dark Soul, it'll hit through the the, the slab because it's so thin into, into, the, uh, into the button. It'll activate a fire and then the crystal to be uh, collectible. But before I do that, I, I gotta reset the other machine as well, which is the Calabash. That's the... yeah. Okay. Resetting the calabash. Okay. Resetting. Put that there. And then we reset with the moving stones. Oh! No! 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 Ah! Damn it. Shit. <laughs> I forgot the other half of the key the power plant okay 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 let's try that again all right moving stone don't peace out on me this time there we go okay this is a 100 percent fully loaded pistol what should be all right all right so legally you are given a gun and a power plant. The power plant is supposed to represent the calabash puzzle. And uh, the calabash is an item that you are given when you get so far into the game. And it's a, a progressional item, as well as a weapon, technically. I can't make it a weapon in, in mind test. I can only make it a key. But in the game, it's a, both a weapon and, and a key. So, whatever. Uh, but... Using the power plant here, because technically this is you can't uh, you can't just you know step all over and be like ah work you stupid door. But this is uh, you know if you see this pattern, this is a calabash puzzle. So you are given a power plant, and what you should do is place the power plant in the center. And there's enough time. The whole point is the calabash puzzle was to place the explosive, run away, and then get through right so you place the plant you walk away and then fire fire oh come on oh where where did it where did it mess up oh okay that's where it messed up oh <sighs> don't i look like a titty the thing about having a loaded fucking gun. Gotta make sure all the bullets are in the right place. Alright. Let's do that again. Okay. The whole point. Place it. Walk away. Fire to simulate the explosion. And then it disappears. Leaving you with a dark soul. And the dark soul is something that you're supposed to shoot. Oh, come on. I have to restart that, too. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna... Okay, I'm hoping that should work. Ha! There it is. Fire. And then a crystal that you can collect. I sw I promise that it'll be a lot more smooth than that. It's just these are already... Already been fucking activated. So I had to mess around with it a whole bunch. But, uh... 
It's a, it's pretty much smoother than that. It's supposed to be you place the pow power plant, you see the fire, the, the fire disappears, and then you're left to see a, uh, a collectible, you know, Dark Soul. So you shoot at the Dark Soul, and then fire, and then a collectible crystal that you can catch. You know, this is an actual, you know, an area that you can do the thing with. And then if you walk past here, you're supposed to be emancipated. <laughs> um... Ah, the baton. That's what it was called. The baton. Such an easy fucking mistake. Um, okay. So, this is very interesting. So this door can only be opened by a key ring. And all it is is just a teleporter on the inside. That's all though the baton was. Is it when you use the baton, it teleported you to another area. And it was the only... Oh, you would see these like little shrines so if you see a shrine and if you have the key ring and you need which is to symbolize the baton the keys are the baton because you use the keys to open these doors in order to teleport so you would be greeted by this thing and you would be you know you'd take a key I because I'm I'm medic you'll you'll see the uh, the shop uh, like on the inside but to the to the customer, they see this, and you will press that, and it's for free, obviously. So you're given a free key, and because you have the key, you should be able to. Oh shit! There it is. <sighs> really? You're gonna record with that one, huh? Ah, oh, nice. Mm, well, I'm glad it's still getting some use. Much obliged. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> All right, so there it is. Yeah, before I wasn't able to open it, but now I can because of this particular key. And all that does is just take me to the other portal on the other side. And now I can open the door with the key. Yep, that's pretty much all that is. Yeah, that's the that's the baton puzzle. Gonna activate that music again because there's a there's a mechanism right here that activates that music, and every time I get close to that player sensor, it'll turn it back on. Um, actually, you know what? Before I continue on, I'm gonna quickly reset these. No, no screwing it up this time, though. I'm gonna put that at the end. Keep, keep screwing up with it. There we go. Okay. So... Okay, okay, okay. I have to do this first. I have to do this first. a loaded gun that's done loaded gun and then we go back here put that back put that take that put that back put that back 
Okay. I mean, like, okay. So, I mean, like, I will quickly explain to you how the mechanisms work. I mean, like, think about it this way. So, when activated, uh, one of these, when it's, let's, let, let's explain the calabash. When you put the power plant onto here, this jumps up and connects all of that power past down into here. So this all lights up, right? This is a track for this, uh, you know, move stone. It'll always try to go this direction. And when it, when it activates, it'll push this into that machine, activating a sequence. And uh, instead of having the, the move stone go blah, 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 um, these two are supposed to guide it. So it hits the light stone, guide, 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 and it rests it right next to it so it doesn't just... Because <laughs> it will go back and forth if you let it. And that, that'll just slow the game down. I don't want to lag any harder than it already is. Um, so again, like this will push all the way down and move the, uh, the plant into the machine and then uh, just carefully rest itself next to the, uh, next to the box there. And let's see here. Uh, down here, it's the same thing, you know. This is the timing mechanism. How long it takes for each block to go down. Like, uh, notice how, you know, when I shot, uh, when I put the, uh, put the power plant on, it took a second for it to turn into fire, and then it took a second for it to, um, turn into an open, open door. And when I go to sh shoot the, uh, the Dark Soul, it took a moment for, you know, you shoot it, turned into fire, but took a moment before it turned into a crystal. So, those are all timing based. You know, it roughly takes about, you know, a move stone's worth away to do the thing, you know? And of course, my classic tribal work here, try to zhuzh up each room to make it look really nice as a presentable place. Uh, it's just, just like one of the hallways that I showed you at spawn point. I know. Sue me. <laughs> uh, the flambeau! That's right, the fire puzzle. That's right, I gotta reset this all. Ugh. Egg. This one's relatively super easy. Yeah. What is flambo? Flambo is... Well, it's the... Uh, it's a skull. Oh, no. You didn't hear any of those? Okay. Uh -huh. Cough, cough, cough. Um... So, what is flambeau? It's basically, uh, it's like, oh, it's not a skull. It's a, it's like, imagine, like, the, a bone, the bone of a hand holding onto an ember, and you use that to throw fire, and when you throw fire, it's supposed to, these are supposed to look like canvas doors. Like, uh, I use the red because the, the red is supposed to symbolize the fire's logo that's supposed to be seen, but I can't, I don't have fire logo mod so i put uh the best representation so i figured um using these textures to represent the the, the textures of canvas and the, and the fire symbols so basically it's just put the fire on the red part and the fucking door should oh crap and the door should open i keep forgetting to load up the power plants Ugh. yeah it's super simple there it is it just opens the door it's supposed to yeah just and uh, ha and then you get to more often than not you see a shape like this and some 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 breakable crates or they're supposed to be breakable but in this game it's just a there's the chest and it's collectible stuff so yeah all right so let me load that back up Okay, moving on. The Marato. Oh my god, this was the single hardest door I've ever had to fucking, you know, figure out and make. So, now we gotta undo it all. Learn how to undo all the things that I just did. Okay, how did, how, how to go? How did it go? 
Okay, so... Okay, because it was this one, this one, then this one, I believe. So I should start over here. that back up. I know this all seems very confusing, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. This is how this door puzzle works. So the Mirato is uh, supposed to be a jawbone. It's supposed to be a jawbone that you use to bang on a drum. And there's three drums. I can only make a uh, one-to-one -one representation. So what I did was, this is this is how it is. This is what the, the drums are supposed to look like. So here's what a drum looks like. You're supposed to, I I don't know, I, I wanted to be a bit lulzy, so I was just like, fuck it. The whole point was, to this game was to, uh, you do, you perform an action on this thing and something happens. So, it doesn't matter which one you open, um, first or last, fucking, you know, you, you, you get th all three and you open the door, right? Now here's something interesting. There it is. Takes it and there you go. Uh, it's one one part of the of the door open, right? Now you're probably thinking, "Oh, I'm just gonna be a clever guy and just walk right through." Sorry, guy. Guess what? I've actually like super edge of game zone, cause technically speaking, the game tells you you have to have all three open in order for you to walk right through. That's how that puzzle works. That's how the Murato is supposed to work. You have to open all three in order to to move on, as it were. All right. I have a portal mod on here. The uh, the main reason why I use a portal mod is because of the uh, the the checkpoints. It has is, it it has is it has is good checkpoints, don't you knows? <laughs> it jeez, oh, um no, it has really good uh, a really good checkpoint mod interface. Like I don't know, it's just it's been really easy to to make games that way. So there it is. The Murato. All right, slowly creeping through all the, all the things. Uh, already, sh I already did the Kaladash. Already did the Flambeau and the Murato. Now let's go to the Retractor puzzle. Okay, so the Retractor puzzle is normally found in the Cathedral of Pain. You have to walk up these stairs. And uh, you're greeted by like this this torso with his arms out, and he's like uh, tethered by both sides, like being suspended, and he's like got his like guts and stuff. And I I can't recreate that. I've tried, and I've tried, and I've tried. I've tried to make weird man shape thing, and then try to make a retractor. It's the retractor is basically a, a, a medical device that opens up the chest. And I don't have that mod. I don't have a mod that does that. So I can do only the best with the knowledge given. Um, 
is a relatively easy puzzle to to figure out. Um, the whole point to the retractor is you were given a special item to go to a specific place to open up uh, a gateway that allowed you to teleport to another level. Now what I did instead was the retractor puzzle now looks like this. The retractor puzzle is just basically a really neat looking eyeball thingy with all the evil blocks and stuff and you know I'm, I'm just, I don't know. I, I'm doing the best I can given the circumstances. So, here it is. Here's what you gotta do. You're given a, a dragon statue. You put the dragon statue in there. It closes and that's the confirmation to have this teleporter pad show up in front of you that would normally take you to another level. That's exactly how it's supposed to be in, uh, in the Shadow Man game. I just can't make the retractor look like I can't make it look like the the guy. You know, I just it's hard, okay? You know, given a square world, I'm not I'm doing as faithful recreation as possible, but it's not always on point because you know, you're, you're there is no Shadow Man mod. You know, nobody nobody's gone out there and all like, "Oh, I did the thing." You know, I'm trying to do the thing, but I'm doing the thing in a different way. Um all right, so there's the retractor. Now I'm going to show you the uh, the engineer. Oh, the engineer's key. Okay, the engineer's key is interesting. It looks like a power glove, but like it's got like key stuff off it here, and it's still in the shape of a fist. But they're like this huge, like you know, like I don't know, this cone. Like it's very, very like I don't know. It's got like a stabby thing. So you. Yeah, that chair. My little blue chair is eating Brandon alive right now. So. Oh, is it the... <laughs> yeah. Well, you, sh you were supposed to replace that. You are supposed to fix it or do something with it. <clears throat> no dying! Um, anyways, sorry about that. The, uh, the engineer's key was basically... Okay, you walk up to a machine that was uh, shaped like this, and you stuck your fist in it. And you, you, you turn it, and then it's supposed to... Yeah, green light sh showed up, and it was activated. Uh, it was weird. It was weird. So let me let me show you how this works by redoing all the things. So, itch the leg. Um, okay. Okay, this was an interesting one. that worked. I think that one was the easier one. Oh, right. Okay, I gotta put that over there. That should be super close. Oh, I had to label this one. Okay. One. Two. Gotta 
put that on there. And I assume it must have been there. Right there. Why did I make it so long? Okay. Okay. That's why. Right. Right. I can only hope that this door fucking works. Okay. You ready to see some black magic? Hold on. I'm gonna... Alright. Let's see some black magic. Okay. Alright. This is supposed to be a three-part door where, like, it simulates an animation. So, I will... Place the green block. One, two, three. Yes! It just works! Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, feels so good. Yeah, all right. So that's one, two, three step door. Yes. It's supposed to give the illusion of an animation happening. Oh, I love the gate controller. Oh, thank you, gate controller, for being a cool thing to play with. All right. All right. I know it sucks. We you just watch the magic happen. Now you're just gonna take it all away. Uh, so one, one, two, and then the three. Okay. So now we reset. Re Because that goes there. That goes there. That goes there. And that's a loaded pistol. Yeah. Remover stones are... Like I said, earlier I said I was talking about uh, timing. <laughs> Not very god English. No. Oh. I don't speak very god English either. I speak very, uh, normal English, I guess. The, the, well, wood is normal. But, uh, it's all good. It's nice to see you. Thank you for, for joining my chat, though. Like, thanks for, for seeing me play all the mind tests and stuff like that, you know? I always appreciate it, Mr. Uh, Raptor Crack. <laughs> Alright, so that is technically a loaded pistol. On that end, I don't want to play it again. That's ridiculous. It was it was enough. But you know, when you come across and you play Shadow Man for realsies, like you'll be able to like see this this door. When you see that, you're like, oh, I should I should have the you will have this key. Place it in there, and then you'll get to see the animation every time. All right, all right. And then uh, okay, that notice how it moved. That means that door's unlocked. Beforehand, it wouldn't have done that. But now that it's unlocked, you are able to freely enter. Yeah, fun, right? Yeah, I wanted to, to make that... Uh... <laughs> this is technically a survival map, yes. Um, but, you know, this is technically an adventure map that I had made... But we'll be we'll be making fully into uh, maybe maybe at the very least a playable demo because like it's not it's not ready obviously I'm just uh, showing you guys you know all the doors that I've made these are all the doors that are technically inside the uh, Shadow Man game because this is supposed to represent each puzzle and I'm and I'm making sure that uh, like that's the engineer's key that you're supposed to see uh, I showed the retractor I showed the the, the flambeau the the Murato. Yeah, like uh, the next up on the on the list to, to show 
is um, ah the accumulator. Right, 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 right. Okay. Does anybody remember that if you, it's like these weird like little pyramid thing. It's like a green square looking pyramid, and you need that in order to like open. You need like three of them to open up a thing that would give you like an OP gun. It was like um this spinning thing. It was like a oh god, I can't remember the name. Oh, it's been so long since I've played it. You get like two of these like super guns, and one of them is through uh through the asylum playrooms. You have to go in there and uh and open up three things. So let's hold on, let's undo some of these locks here. What did I do? Is it really just that simple? Of course not. It's gotta be more to Ah, right. Oh, what is the rest? What is the rest? There should be a more to it. Or is there? Or is that really just it? Oh, oh there's more to it. I had to collect so many different things. Oh, that's what it was. Right, right, the retractor. Um, at the asylum playrooms, there were three boxes. Uh, one with the gun in the center, and two boxes with ammo on the side. Now, to be honest, anybody who opens up the ammo, I mean, like, the ammo just spawns naturally in crates once you've acquired the gun. So why would you want to unlock those? So to be honest, that's why I put cake, because the cake is a lie. You shouldn't use your your uh your items but technically it did offer five accumulators throughout the game so uh what you would have to do is you would collect five i call i say fuck it you're collecting tree hearts instead of you know uh accumulator you know things because there is no accumulator mod so i just decided to go with tree hearts heart of the tree you need to collect five of those and what you do is that in this shop you you use the five uh, the five tree hearts to pay for this particular block. Um, this block is supposed to look similar to that one because I just want it to look, you know, symmetri uh, symmetrical. Oh, my bad. So that when you place that, there it is. Yeah, when you place that, you you get the hearts. You pay for you pay for the key to open up that. They both look relatively the same, and it opens up the glass that allows you to uh, to obtain. Oh, this letter says uh, there, there was treasure here, but it's gone now. <laughs> uh, but that's how that puzzle is supposed to work. Right, I had to remember the uh, the puzzle, so. Yes, all it does is just open the glass to give you an, a very OP weapon. Like, one of those, you know, instead of, like, using a couple of times... Like, it takes a couple of shots to uh, to, to really, you know, shoot, a, shoot an enemy down. I actually had to go into some of the, uh, um, into the lure scripting in order to... Uh, um, I, I, fi I, I, I fucked with the variables of the gun as well as the NPCs so that the NPCs are, are just tough enough and fast enough to still get the drop on you while still having a gun that isn't over OP. So I had to really balance the scales between NPC and how effective the gun is. And also if the gun is too effective, can and destroy all blocks around you. So the gun is technically weak but it's still an effective, you know, long range. The gun is only effective uh, certain blocks away, so you can't just be like, ha, ah, across the map, fuck you. Like, it's, you, you gotta be not too close, but close enough, you know? Like, an, enough to, to, to still be fair. Yeah, uh, there's, there's your radius. There. That's not too far, but far enough. All right. Um, a reset and moving on. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for, for that. Like, honestly, it takes, it takes a long time 
to, to make all of this stuff. And all the thought process I had to go around. Like, I only took a glance and saw how the, the keys work in, in the game. And I was like, how do I recreate that? Um, right, the prism. Prism is another... It's a, it's a super easy puzzle. It's just basically a node-detecting puzzle. And in the... <coughs> when you played the game... Um, after you defeated certain people, um, you would be given this purple prism thing that you would place on top of uh, a thing and like beams of light would come out and then the door would open and take you to this other area that you can, you know, advance into a different area. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, I, of course, I like seeing a lot of really rounded off things because like what in this square world... I want to blow your mind with my round shapes. Um, okay, so the prism. Uh, I Obviously, there is no prism mod that I can use. So I used a... Uh, I used a... Well, you know, this stupid little plasma static ball. Um, but when you activate it, you know, flames are supposed to come out. Because it's supposed to... Because, like, the, the prism is supposed to, like, shoot out beams of light. But, you know, I just... Whatever, uh, you, you place the thing and fire, and now the door opens. And the, the door shapes are always weird and coffin-like, so I thought I would, like, try to simulate the coffin shape as best as possible. So. Yeah, and, and, uh, this, this particular door was based off of one of the, uh, locations that one can actually go to and, uh, you know, do the puzzle and, and whatnot in, in, the, in the Shadow Man game. Let's see here. That's a loaded pistol. Let's. What's the last one? What's the last one? Ah, the prison card. Ah, yes. Remember, if you were in the prison, um, there were these very particular places that. Uh, lava. There are these places that. Uh, the prison place, like it's technically. Um, not dead side, but like day side that can turn night side because that's after you go through the the first part of the church, right? When you get the the eclipse and you go to night side, and then you got to go to the to the prison places, and the prison places were through. You got to go to the cathedral of pain, go through the retractor doors, you get to the prison area, and in this prison area, you were given like a a, a particular card key. It was like a a, a hand holding onto a, a card key. I don't know why he didn't just take the card out of the hand. And used it on the machine, but he just took the whole arm! <laughs> so he took the whole arm and... Whatever. I'm trying to simulate the card key puzzle. And the card key puzzle... They kind of look similar to, to a shape like this. Like the... It was just a square thing on the wall with red lights on it. You know, and it, it was red to, to signify that it was... It was off. So... Now let's reset some of these... I mean, like, that all seems relatively easy, but I mean, like, the, the concept behind every every door is technically on par to how the game would have you solve these puzzles. So, you'd be given this, and, you know, here's your, here's your keys, you know. I, I give you a green block because when you go to place it inside here, it's to be like, oh, it's green, it's activated. So, I mean, like, there is no hand attached to card mod. So I did the best I could do as a faithful recreation to the Shadow Man game. So there's that. It would open this, and as a secondary, you know, you get it? Like, huh? Ha. Huh. And the door opens, and away you go. So these are, this is just a, uh, you know, uh, a little tutorial area to show people how these puzzles work. So that when you get into the actual meat of the game, oop, yeah, once you get into the actual meat of the game, you'll you'll just know. You'll be like, oh, these are areas of interest, and that I should keep my eye out when when playing this game. And if anybody has ever played Shadow Man, they they would just know naturally what the next thing to do is, you know. And then they would just <laughs> have their mind blasted because they'd be like oh my god yeah you're right this is just the next natural progression of things that I have to I have to do um cue music mm. yeah my fiance made this for me oh so good 
Oh, I love it. Ooh. Okay. Um. Um, and, um oh right. Uh, oh, maybe not the caps. Did I? Oop, crap. Mm. Oop. Here's the night side of it all. Okay. I had shown you day side already, but I would like to show you now the night side of it all. Notice how, like, I kept some of the same textures, but the water is different. The ground has a different texture. Um, and as you, as you progress, uh, you know, I try to make it seem more, more dismal, more, more dark. Like, even, even the tone of wood that I used was darker. Ah, right. That is an activated, activated thing. Hold on, let, let's see if I can restart that one for you. Okay, so that's undone. Okay. So, with the needle and thread usually... Oh! What is activating it right now? There we go. There we go. Okay. Officially reset. I always hate runaway moving bricks on me. There we go. That's a loaded gun. Speaking of loaded gun, let's use this loaded gun to shoot ourselves a dark soul. Fire into a collectible crystal that is literally a like a player can try shooting their surroundings and nothing will happen you know <laughs> nothing will happen it's just if you you can't destroy the world around you but you can destroy only the collectible things that i allow you so like this particular square is protection free so that you are freely able to grab it so Here's another fun thing. There we go, all the way around. All the all the stuff is already collected because this is supposed to represent the fact that you've already been through here. Same thing with this area. Like, you know, the same same jump puzzle, same everything. You have to be at the, the tip of your jump in order to make that jump. Otherwise, you will fall and have to do it all over again, just like in the game. And the same, the same bridge that broke on the way in is already broken when you get here because technically, if you're coming in through... Uh, dead side, then that means you've already done everything. So, again, all the dismal textures. You know, just, I tried to, even, even down to this place, you know, the, everything's a little darker. Um, there's actually so much more to the, to the eye in this particular map, because, uh, there's these. Mob spawners. Um, uh, mob spawners, uh, only spawn when you sign in as the player Shadow Man. So if you sign in as Shadow Man, then you should easily, you know, be able to tripe through all this stuff and all of a sudden dudes will show up and then you'll have to, you know, you'll have to arm yourself. You'll be like, oh no, get the guys and uh, don't die from the thing. And the So I'm working on this map and I will eventually make this a, a full, a full game. You know, it would be, it'd be really cool to just get some positive, you know, even some, cre you know, creative and, you know, creative criticism is always good. <laughs> as long as it's not too negative. Um... So yeah, uh, yeah, on dead side, technically, I will give you the ability to, uh, you know, go through and do all the puzzles and stuff. Like the, the calabash, for instance. Um, you are supposed to do the calabash, and I will give you, give you things for that. Like, as you can see, it's so much more happening underneath here, uh, than in dead side, or in live side, because live side is just the tutorial area. Once you get to dead side, that's when this demo is really supposed to kick off in a fun way. So let's. Yeah. Yeah, see? The... Before I had shown you already how to, 
how all these puzzles work. And now, here's what they look like in a real, real game, game sense. So if I were to come up here, then technically you should be able to solve this calabash by placing that there. Fire, disappear, and now you have a, uh, uh, you know, a passage you can go through. And notice how all the mechanism for everything is is gone. It's hidden, so it makes for a cleaner game experience instead of just pressing, you know, buttons like gate controllers and stuff. It that gets in the way and it takes away from from the immersion of the game. Um, so when I when I was doing the math, going down the spiral, it was uh, you had to go down two bricks. And this is all mathematically recorded. Like if you look at the game, like you can only judge how many spaces it would take to fill in to make that particular place look like how they made it. So when I did this, you know, this was supposed to be the mausoleum area where, you know, there were there were some, you know, like tucked away coffins and stuff. And here uh, was supposed to be a Dark Soul. Um, is still here. You know, the Dark Soul is still... Technically, this represents the Dark Soul. This is Dark Soul. <laughs> I just gotta reset it. <laughs> um, it's also attached to a mob spawner because, uh, technically, um, in Dead Side, when you shoot this Dark Soul, an enemy shows up on on the right. So I have it set to the mob will spawn specifically there after you've shot the uh, the Dark Soul because to be a faithful recreation, that's how you gotta do it. So, and what that looks like on the outside, you know, it's just. It's messing with the said dressing. That's all that looks like. And... Oh, the church. Just a little darker. These are... Loaded guns? Those are loaded guns. So if I shot these right now, they should just go off. And let's... Let's... Yeah! See? Look at that! Collectible crystals! Hey! See what I mean? Mmm. Crisp, clean gameplay. Using Mind Test as a game engine to make games. Mind blasting! Is that a shop? That is a shop, right. I make sure that you can buy armors, and you can buy. buy the crystal. Yeah, the, the, if you. If you go throughout the game and collect all of the uh, the Dark Souls, um, the letter says, thank you for playing, I will create more game for you to play later. Um, so technically, if I reset all of the things right here, right now, this is a legitimate, legal, playable demo. I just don't know where to post it. <laughs> I don't know, well, I could post it. The thing is, though, I messed with the mods in particular, so I gotta find a way to like grab all of the data that I have acquired making this demo and compress it in such a way, like mods included, like it's gonna be a huge file. I gotta like, and then like, you'll have to be able to download it from a, from a place. I'll probably, once I have the, a, a way for people to download this, I will post it on all of my media. You know, I, I've got like a, I've got Twitter, I've got Facebook, I've got, you know, Got all the media places. I even post on Instagram and stuff like that. Just, just cause, you know, just, 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 just eyeballs. I need all the eyeballs. <laughs> Notice me, senpai. <laughs> um, okay. So here's another mind blasting thing. Uh, the um, baton. That's what that was. Uh, the key. Is that the one? No. Oh. I gotta redo that one. I gotta redo it. Damn you. Okay, well technically that portal was supposed to take you into this this room it, once you have the, the key so that you can collect the remaining Dark Soul. Which is, should be a a loaded gun. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, collect that crystal. Um... Okay, so yeah, technically that is the uh, is the hero of it all. You know, when you pass here and you're like, oh, why can't I get in there? Oh, I want to get in there so bad. 
but then you gotta later, you know, you gotta go through some shit. You gotta, you gotta collect that puzzle piece. You gotta collect the, uh, the key that, that opens up that door in order to take you there. Yes, queen. Oh, what's that? What's that? A, a, a lock that must be shot? Yes, that is the whole point to that. Shoot it, open it, peace out with it. Aha. Before the water was yellow, the water here is no longer yellow. It is, uh, you know, a more bluish gray tone because that's what they went with in the, uh, in the other game there. Or in, in the actual Shadow Man game. And it's all, it's all relatively the same, you know? Uh, the only thing that should be technically different is just all the different textures. As you can see, all the, uh, this before was, uh, a completely different type of dirt that one could use. But, uh, now I'm using more darker, like, even, even this. Um, in the other one, they were just plain white blanks in day side, but dead side here, um, it's got, you know, kind of these doom and gloom kind of wrecked because it's supposed to represent ooh, it's dead side. <laughs> and here is another crystal you know because it's a uh, that's where the other one uh the other dark soul was and there it's already been activated like the the whole mechanism the dark soul itself it's right here that's the dark soul there it is i just gotta restart it <laughs> it's a it's, it's a bit of a process to to get through all this stuff um, here, as you, if you remember, the other, in night, uh, in daytime, uh, it looked a lot brighter, with more brighter tones, but instead we got this doom and gloom, but, uh, here's actually where, um, mobs are supposed to spawn, because it's supposed to represent, like, the, uh, the alligators that were supposed to be here, but instead of alligators, they're, you know, uh, big, um, what are those, dungeon keepers, you know what I mean, those dungeon keeper NPCs. Up here is uh, it's the same thing. Um, another mob spawner. You will see three there. There's a there's the dark soul. <laughs> there it is. And uh, here is where an NPC was spawned. One here, uh, one behind the house, and one one relatively up here. So that it gives you stuff to shoot at. You know, it gives you that like you know you're walking up the thing here and you're like, oh man. You know, I'm just trying to look for some Dark Souls. Just trying to find some- OH GOD, THERE'S A THING! Ah! Ah! You know what I mean? You know what I mean? But only- they only show up- the NPCs only show up because they, uh... Um, I have everything set to... Shadow Man. You must sign in as Shadow Man. And that's the only way that any of those, uh, NPCs, um, will ever go off. Ooh, this one's actually really tricky. Um, 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 what's this all about? Okay. Yeah, okay. Do you see this? This is like edge of, edge of game zone stuff happening here. Because... The way it's set up is very particular. Like, it's just because it's in a very tricky spot, um, and there's so much to manipulate in terms of uh, making the Dark Soul work, like, correctly. And I just, I just don't want it to be, you know, easy for some jackass to try and shoot the Dark Soul from here, you know? And they can't just collect it from here either. That's why if they actually happen to manage to shoot it from here, those edge of game zone blocks are supposed to prevent the player from being able to grab it from there. The whole point of this game is to force you to go all of the way over here, all the way up this place to grab the, the Dark Soul. So, okay, that's not activated yet. Because... Because, 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 because of the terrible things she's done. All right, there we go. We're gonna do this. Is that up, up? Now it's up, up. All right, now let's reload this pistol, shall we? 
All right. So, with the needle and thread usually, technically, if a player were to, I don't even know if they can. Ow. Yeah, it's kind of... Well, I guess I made that pretty good. All those extra security measures in place, you know? <laughs> um, okay, okay, okay. So technically... Right. And that's a crystal, right? And the edge of game zone stuff is still here. But if I were to take this crystal... Notice how all that stuff disappears? And now you can freely walk past? Yes. Because I wanted to make sure that no player can just reach up and grab the crystal. No, I wanted to make sure that you were forced to come all the way up here and then grab that crystal. Let's see if I can remember where it was. There we go. And then you gotta reset the thing. I am certainly not going to reset every single puzzle, because that, that would probably get excruciatingly boring. I'm not one for boredom, and try not to be too unentertaining. Uh, that's to... Got it, got it, got it. It's a little bit of hassle, but, you know, it works. It works. So, there it is. There's the, the doom and gloom of uh, Shadow Man. I, I love Shadow Man. It's always been a really huge, nostalgic game for me. So, I figured, you know, that's why when I was making the... Uh, these maps, you know, I was just like, oh, it feels so near and dear because, like, when everything started connecting, like, you know, from here, you know, connecting to there to there, you know, I had to, this was all, this was not, you know, laid out before my eyes. This was all just like, ah, uh, I'm looking at this screen while looking at that screen, and, uh, and this, sh this should connect to here somehow, so I'm just gonna sculpt it till it does, you know, and I, I really, f you know, started falling in love with uh, making making all these, like, you know, really smoothed out textures, you know? You gotta really increase that roundiness, you know? Instead of just being box after box after box, you know? So. <sighs> Anyways, I, uh, I'm still, I got uh, just a little bit more to show you if you guys are all still interested and still hanging around. Um... This was just my, my faithful recreations of some of the games that I've made. Uh, you could probably check out my, my videos earlier if you wanted to see the how I made the Banjo-Kazooie map. I made Banjo-Kazooie the, the first, you know, first little bit there. And I also made uh, uh, Star Fox Adventures. I did all the way up to the Crusoe Palace at the first trial. So if you guys want to skip ahead earlier to see what I did over there, go ahead. But uh, I'm going to be right back. i got to load up the other portions of stuff that I've made before and uh, hopefully that'll wow you but I gotta get there and I don't want to leave you a boring loading screen so until then I will be just right back in a moment gotta load up the other maps in order to show you some more cool stuff so be right back oh they're not on public server no these these are personal maps that I've made for myself um I want to publish them I'm going to I just haven't found a, a, a place for me to upload all my stuff. Like I said, it's a, it's a huge file. All these mods have been, you know, heavily modified. And so therefore you can't just download them off the internet and expect them to just work in, in this game. Because I've actually went into these personal Lua codings to make the variables work in my favor to make sure that this game was a faithful, accurate recreation. So if you want... You know, one of these days, uh, hopefully in the future, 
Uh, not like obviously tomorrow, or it's not going to happen tomorrow. But you know, in the future, I will try to make a uh, a more compact version so that I can make it uploadable for other people. So you can just download it, and you should just be able to just cue the exe, put type in the name Shadow Man, and you should just be able to play Mind Test Shadow Man the game. You know, or at least the demo. <laughs> I gotta. I'll, I'll find a way. I'll find a way. But for now, I'll be right back. I have some more other uh, really fun content to, to show you. Um, I just want to make sure that like today's uh, stream is all about capturing the magic that was all the things that I've created in the past uh, in terms of mind test. This has all been years and years and years of all the things that I've uh, built and created. And uh, sharing it all today with you guys. And I really appreciate you, you would all take the time to, to hang out and see what's up. All right. Be right back. Hey, I'm back. Well, that was my Shadow Man map. I hope all the details and map design looks amazing. I know the one-to-one -one comparison is very spot on. I might make a video later down the line of me walking through both the map in Mind Test as well as the map on the N64 to show a side-by-side -side comparison of just how accurate I had made it. I do have more personal maps I have built, but I cannot seem to find them at the moment, so I figured I would show you some of, some of my other stuff I have built on public servers, but that content will be available in my next video. If you like what you saw here today, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned next week for some more artistic content. Until then, thank you so much for your time, and have a great night. Cheers.